So, uh, if you, if any one of you asked me four five months back that you know uh, I would be standing here and doing this, I think I would have uh, probably uh, counted myself off. So it's. Uh, being in the industry for about 17, 18 years, I think uh, for me it's, you know, more than pride and it's a sense of, you know, fulfillment and happiness uh, to be here. So, uh, firstly, I would want to thank uh, Manish for, you know, setting this up in terms of uh, uh, what he took us through. It actually took me back to uh, one of the presentations which, you know, I uh, saw in Ipsos, which I think uh, Gita has taken us through in terms of the history of market research and you know how uh, information was there in the era when I think Akbar and Birbal were there and it was sought in you know uh, many different ways and I think we have come a uh, you know very long way uh, from that. So for those of you who don't me, uh, I'm Jayesh. I lead the Global Insights uh, team for Entropic uh, Technologies. Uh, Entropic uh, is a behavioral AI uh, company and uh, we do only research which involves technology out there. So behavioral AI, I mean, it's like, you know, uh, the so-called complicated word or you know, mostly overused kind of a thing. What we fundamentally do out there is, you know, understand when people see, converse, feel, you know, uh, what is actually uh, happening with them. What's the trigger of emotion which is happening and what does that eventually lead into, right? I mean, at the end of the day, all this is measured to get an action out of it. It could be brand building, it could be buying. So we are uh, uh, doing that and I think uh, one of the most interesting thing which we do out there is uh, a very interesting product out there called Decode, uh, which fundamentally helps you to understand while we are speaking uh, what's the kind of emotion you are, you know, expressing? Uh, what's the kind of confidence you have? And there's a lot of, you know, other analysis and stuff which we can do out there. We are very happy that, you know, we are able to uh, be the lead sponsors for the event and we are actually more than happy that we are part of the insights industry. Uh, it's one of those uh, very different industries and, you know, I have personally always seen this as very similar to what, let's say, even in the healthcare industry or doctors do out there. Uh, I think we diagnose, we find solutions uh, real time, and you know, there's a lot of hard work which is put out there by uh, many of us, you know, who are there in this room. The events theme per se, I think, contemporize your roots. Uh, I think Manish already talked about it, and fundamentally, when I heard this. The contemporize your roots, I think, has always been, you know, at the core of uh, what all of us have done out there. Uh, I think even before probably COVID came, uh, I think we always evolved, you know, tweaked methodologies, came up with different point of views, came up with different ways of doing things. And I think COVID probably accelerated a lot of that. I think, you know, a lot of the methodologies came uh, which we wanted to run irrespective of, you know, whether the operational systems exist uh, kind of a thing. So I think it's at the core of the industry because we have always tried to be on, you know, agility, actionability, you know, accuracy. So we have always tried to evolve out of the box thinking. I mean, uh, th that's how the industry has always worked. Even when you look at the larger uh, scheme of papers which are out there in terms of deep dive, you know, tech-enabled uh, revolution, uh, even the metamorphosis out there. I think at the heart of it, uh, what is there is that while we evolve through methodologies, uh, I think basis what is out there, tech increasingly I think is going to play an important role. Not that it's going to you know, replace what we are going to do traditionally, but it's going to be increasingly used uh, to supplement what we are doing, uh, get more out of what we are doing, uh, get it faster, and get it probably in our fingertips uh, in terms of you know, increasingly uh, usage of more uh, DIY platforms and intelligent platforms as well. See, the fact is that you know, we are in a decade where uh, information is required by everybody as of yesterday. And you know, insight as a word is being seen more like you know, a foresight. I mean, you, you want it as of yesterday. And the way to go ahead uh, on this is uh, 
I think we'll see increasingly usage of very intelligent, intuitive platforms, uh, which all insights professionals. It's not about being clients or agencies. I think anybody out there who wants to know uh, things faster, uh, wants to have early sense, you know, wants to probably deep dive into a lot of other stuff, the platforms increasingly are going to take over, you know, some of the work uh, which we do. At Entropic, uh, we are a 200 member uh, team, you know, spread across sales, marketing, engineering. There's a lot of heavy investment behind data science and the insights team. The whole idea is to, uh, you know, get people really appreciate uh, the kind of uh, sensitivity, sensibility, uh, which is required to, you know, build this, you know, insights function per se. I'm really looking forward to this event for the next two days. A lot of interesting papers uh, out there. So uh, really want to thank, uh, you know, and uh, wish luck to all the speakers and uh, presenters. Thank you again for giving us the opportunity to be the lead uh, sponsors for the event. Thanks.